Give God your best. Mm -hmm. He'll do whatever he needs to do through you. Amen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. As we look at this Daniel and his three friends, we notice that they were given the ability to prophesy, to, to interpret, I should say, dreams. Because the king had a dream, and the only one that could interpret it was Daniel. And the only reason that he could interpret it, interpret the dream, was the fact that the Holy Spirit Amen. had given him the power because of his relationship to God. Not the magicians, not the soothsayers, Come on now. not the wise men. Amen. None of them could predict or prophesy, interpret the dream that was given. Show you. None of them could. <coughs> But after the Holy Spirit spoke to Daniel, Daniel could go before the king and he could tell him exactly what his dream meant. Exactly what was going to happen to him. And he did this twice. The second time, Nebuchadnezzar got full of himself and thought that he was responsible for everything that was going on in his kingdom. When in actuality, <laughs> what was happening was God had given the Israelites over to the Babylonian Empire. Mm -hmm. He had taken anything. My mind. And he had to show him but God. that he had not taken anything because when he got on his little roof and started making his little accusations, God <laughs> spoke to him. And when God spoke to him, it wasn't nothing that nice. Come on. He grew hair all over his body and My he mind. ate like the oxen of the field. Come 